My name is Geordie Williamson. I'm a professor here in mathematics at the University of Sydney and I work on questions in representation theory which is a branch of pure mathematics but I'm also interested in questions in algebra and geometry and number theory. I studied a class in second year university on Galois theory that just completely blew me away. Up until that Point, mathematics had been formal manipulation of symbols and I didn't find it particularly exciting. However, in Galois theory I thought I saw an idea that I could never come up with myself and was incredibly beautiful and I'm still inspired by Galois theory today. I come from a family basically of artists and the most creative people that I've met in my life are mathematicians. Good mathematicians have a deep creativity which I find incredibly inspiring. If I have to choose one moment, it's in a, in a shower in Beijing when I had uh, an idea. It's the only time in my mathematical career that I've been hit by something like a lightning bolt. I immediately got out of the shower and I forgot to dry myself and I started writing code on a computer to try to check something. There was a belief about a particular structures in representation theory that had been very widely held for 30 years. Basically everybody believed that something was true and I discovered that the full story was much more complicated. And so it was a kind of shocking revelation for me and also for the field. Mathematics has a history of being fundamental. A famous quote of G.H. Uh, Hardy, a number theorist, who said that he loves number theory because it's utterly useless. And now it's incredibly useful. It's in every smartphone, it's in every bank transaction. We're using number theory the whole time. So having some good knowledge of pure mathematics is fundamental to understanding the modern world. I'm very honoured and also very surprised to be elected to the Australian Academy. Uh, I also have enormous respect for what the Academy does in terms of advocacy and outreach for the sciences and I'm looking forward to contributing to that in the future.